and welcome to iVision on the Road. I am your host, Kira Blades. iVision on the Road is a new television series that focuses on getting your business out there. We target all of South Florida, so whether you are in Miami, Sarasota, Key West, or Tampa, iVision TV would love to have you as our featured business of the week. This week's featured business is Tampa's well-known restaurant, Jerk Hut, located at 926 East Fowler Avenue. Jerk Hut also has two other locations, one at 4495 West Gandhi Boulevard and a downtown location at 207 East Twig Street. Jerk Hut has been around for several years, starting with a small location on Nebraska Avenue. They have since grown into a successful Caribbean restaurant over the years and loved by locals and visitors alike. Jerk Hut's owner is Andrew Ashmead, a Caribbean American from Jamaica. When we come back, I will be talking to Andrew and getting an exclusive tour of the Jerk Hut restaurant on Fowler and of course, trying a couple items from the menu. So don't go away, iVision TV will be right back. Life is a mystic, so let's keep the mystical flow. Just like the rain, the waterfalls and rainbow. Love and the fish love. Whoa. Welcome back. For those of you who joined us, this is iVision on the Road and I am your host, Kira Blades. This week's featured business is Jerk Hut Restaurant located on Fowler Avenue. I am here with Andrew, the owner of Jerk Hut. Thank you, Andrew, for having us. You're welcome. Um, I can remember coming to Tampa on vacation. I had to come to Jerk Hut. There was no way I could leave Tampa and not come to Jerk Hut. So you guys have been around for a little bit of time. We've been around for a long time. Um, we opened our first restaurant probably in 1993. Um, originally we started out, believe it or not, in a little rock and roll bar on Fletcher Avenue. It was called Brass Mug. We were there for a little while and that's where we really started developing like the basic recipes. That's where we actually came up with our famous red sauce, you know, working in that little kitchen and then we moved over to Nebraska Avenue and that's probably when you used to come. Yes. It was a small storefront in a little strip mall. We must have had maybe six or seven tables in there, you know, but we always had table service and waitresses and all that kind of stuff. And then we had like a little window where you just kind of peek through, you know, look in there and go, um, you know, tell them what you want and then the food just came flowing out. But we're busy over there from the time we were open because we, um, you know, when we came on the scene, there wasn't too much as far as Jamaican restaurants in Tampa. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys have really grown. I mean, you're here now in Fowler. This is an amazing location. Very. Thank you. It's huge. How many people can you see here at once? Probably about 200. Really? Mm. Nice. But you also have other locations. Uh, tell me about how you got started with those other locations and what made you decide to actually, you know, expand that big. Well, actually, um, an opportunity came came up downtown, and um, I've always wondered, you know, how the restaurant would do outside of just, uh, you know, the university area where we have a high population of Caribbean folks. So I figured if we um, we put something downtown, that would kind of give us a gauge, you know, if other people would support us, you know, in a non, you know, Caribbean neighborhood, and um, it, it kind of worked. You know, we did it, and the first day we opened, we were so busy for lunch. And um, from that time on, you know, we realized that um, we, we, we basically crossed over into another market because downtown is all corporate, you know, hmm. so. Uh, tell me a little bit about your menu. Uh, you were originally from Jamaica mm -hmm. um, and then you moved here to Tampa. Mm -hmm. So tell me, I mean, how did you come up with your menu? Your jerk chicken is amazing. <laughs> I grew up in a kind of family where the, the most important room in the house is the kitchen. That's where we get our own and we learn a lot as kids. And um, it, it's, it's not very uncommon for like boys to be really good cooks in the island. We, we're always around the fireside, you know. Anyway, um, most of the recipes that we have in here that we use are stuff that, um, you know, either I saw my mother cooking in the kitchen or 
are things that we caught up, you know, we practiced over the years. And, you know, to be honest with you, I grew up cooking a whole lot of like Chinese food and stuff because my mother is like part Chinese. And then when I came here, we tried to figure out how all of that Jamaican stuff was cooked. And as long as you get like the real stuff, like real ingredients, like authentic, um, the right produce and the fresh stuff coming straight from the islands, you know, you really have a good chance of making it how it's supposed to be, you know, so. So you get uh, your stuff locally and from the islands? We do a lot of local stuff. It's really, really fresh. But um, the other stuff, you know, we try to get it, you know, we have like some stuff flown in from the islands. Like, um, you know, a lot of stuff comes from Jamaica. Some stuff comes from Costa Rica. Um, what you're talking about, like the, um, um, maybe the Scotch bonnet peppers sometime when they're in season, we get them straight from Jamaica. They're really, really good. Um, things like, you know, what we call chocho and pumpkin and stuff like that. A lot of stuff comes from Costa Rica. Really? You know, and it's the same, what happened is the same variety, the same stuff that we're used to cooking with. So you add that to, you know, an a, a authentic Caribbean person preparing it and you get the full effect. Everything is right there. We nice. use the same exact seasoning, high quality stuff and it's, it'll come out right every single time. Yeah, you were mentioning, and I actually saw it, you, your menu, you have changed it again because you're continually, you know, changing and growing. Um, tell me about this new menu. As a matter of fact, we're so excited about it. Um, maybe for the last five or six years, we have not changed one thing on the menu or the prices. And we finally decided that, you know what, man, maybe um, it's time for us to, you know, revamp some of the stuff that we have in here. We've been taking advice from our customers. You know, we try to keep really close, you know, with the customers so we can get good feedback of what they like, what they would like more and so on and so forth and what they would like to see us prepare on the menu. Of course, we can't be everything for everybody, you know, and a lot of stuff we really can't put on the menu because it would be way too much. But uh, we've chosen a few little things and we've added it to the new menu and we're going to launch it and we're so excited about it. Because all across the world people are gathering to let the music take control and now they're dancing. Over here we have a separate takeout area. That's just to serve the takeout customers. It doesn't matter who you are because we call a blind. Come along, join the fun and see what you will find deep in your heart. Then let it be sent to full service bar, full liquor, just in. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know? You're good. That barbecue sauce, you know? That's what I need right there. Make some curry shrimp. We we'll just start off with some butter, put some curry powder in it. We'll let it fry just a little bit. We have got to be free. We can't help it. Dance with me. Let's be free. We can't help it. We have got to be free. We can't help it. We can't help but be free. We can't help it. We have got to be free. We can't help it. Dance with me, let's be free. Dance with me, let's be free. Dance with me. We'll let's put some of our all purple seasoning that we make here.
music take control and now they're dancing Setting their souls free from this cold reality It doesn't matter who you are because So you guys also have some specials and besides just the full service restaurant There are other stuff that you do, tell me some more about that Oh we do a lot of stuff um, Over the years we have, I would say accidentally grown a really good catering business okay. Just from word of mouth, you know we found ourselves catering uh, uh, like an engagement party, which turned into the wedding. And then after that, we do like a baptism. And then we're doing the kids' birthdays going throughout. So <laughs> we've been literally part of people life from start to finish right now. So um, we get a lot of business just from people coming in here asking, you know, you know, do you guys cater? Yeah, we're like, yeah, we did that. And over the years, we've developed a really, really, really good catering product, you know, which is, um, I would say, is excellent. You know, we do, sometimes we do outside um, backyard setups where we even bring a, a band out there. We have full service servers. We have, um, we also have um, bar catering also. If you ever need an event that needs alcohol or whatever, we have full bartenders. We can supply the liquor, every single thing. It's called Bob Marley. She's going to make it for you. Here you go, that's about Marley. Here you go, my dear. also have a band sometimes in here, right? Yes, we do. So tell me, you know, tell me about that. Matter of fact, Friday night now at the Jerkut, our main flagship location on Fowler Avenue, we're doing like what you call um, a ladies' night out. That's my little thing. Okay. You know, where we have ladies drink for three. Not for free, but for three. So anything <laughs> in a bar, top shelf, three dollar. No matter what, it's going to be a mojito, margarita, or anything, Patron. All night for Friday night? Three dollar. $3. What time? All night? 7 to 11 oh, for the special. Nice. You know, we also have um, half price appetizers at the bar also, same time. Okay. So, nice things. And on Sundays? Sundays we have a wicked, wicked Sunday brunch buffet. Starts at 11 o'clock and it goes on till 4. We also have that with a live music at the same time. So it's really, really nice. And you can get anything from like cornmeal porridge, to chicken soup, fresh fruit, um, fresh made dessert. All kind of stuff. It's like having the buffet on a cruise ship. It's really right. amazing, like out of this world. You know, just make sure you don't have any plans for the rest of the day because you're probably going to go home and fall asleep. <laughs> That's amazing. You have so much going on here, Andrew. Um, I really appreciate you having us. Mm -hmm. And our Vision TV on the road we want to thank you very much for inviting us here. Thank you for and coming. for, you know, giving us all this information. Is there anything else you would like to tell our viewers? Just go ahead, look in the camera and tell your, your well, location and your website. What I want to tell the viewers is that um, we are a made from scratch restaurant. Everything that we make here is made from scratch. We use fresh ingredients. And um, we've started a new lunch buffet at our follow location. It's every single day, every, every day, Monday to Friday from 11 to three. And um, we have three locations serving the Tampa Bay area. We have the Fowler, which is our main flagship location. It's um, located at 926 East Fowler Avenue. It's like about a block um, west of Nebraska Avenue if you get off the 275. And we have another location smack in the middle of downtown Tampa. It's called the Jerkut Downtown Cafe. It's 207 East Twigs, and it's right at the corner of Twig Street and Tampa Street. And then we have another location Brand new market in South Tampa. It's right down there in Gandhi and Manhattan Avenue. And that location is called a Jerkut Southside Cafe. That location is just an express unit though. It's just drive through or you can walk up to the window, pick up food. But um, we also have entertainment Friday and Saturday here. So you can call and check it out. Our number at Jerkut is 977-5777. All right. We have come to the end of our segment. 
Thanks for watching I Vision on the Road with our featured business, Jerk Hut Restaurant. Remember, if you would like to have your business featured on our show, simply send us an email at info at ivisiontv.net or call me at 813-382-8786. For a review of this show or past shows, or to see a full list of services we offer, visit our website at www.ivisiontv.net. Remember, we are also available on social media. Follow us on Twitter at iVisionTV and like us on Facebook at iVisionTV.net. Until next week, I am your host, Kira Blades, and you are watching iVision on the Road. Bye-bye.